So thanks for all your support on the last seven days. We were really tired. We've had a day and a bit now to, to get over it and feeling a bit better now. Um, I have to say it made a huge improvement on our numbers, on our stats on YouTube. So thanks so much for all coming to the premieres. Um, if you can keep coming to the premieres, that'd be great. Uh, of course, more subscribers we get, the better. I just wanted to answer a few questions. Unfortunately, with all the work we've got going on, with everything we've got going on, we used to reply to every single comment. We've just had to kind of knock that on the head and we didn't think it was fair to reply to some people but not other people. So um, in reply to some general comments that a lot of people have been making, I'm gonna just explain a few things now. Hi, I'm Ed. And I'm Anna. We run a wedding business from Ed's family's 15th century chateau near Bordeaux. On this channel, you'll get to see what our life is like while discovering Bordeaux, the surrounding area, and what the wine world has to offer. So first question reply um, is, where's the dining room table? We've got two chairs, one for me, one for Anna. <laughs> and put, put poor Charles in a high chair, Anna can be in a high chair, we're good. No, we, um, we were waiting to buy a dining room table and chairs, but of course um, we can't now. So we're just leaving it as it is for the time being. Um, yeah, so that's why we've not got the tables and chairs in. For paintings and things on the walls, we really didn't want to put any holes into the wall um, in case people decide to, you know, if we sell it, then people may not want the holes where they are and it'll just be a bit of work that you don't really need to do. When we've been uh, vlogging this past week, it's been really, really hectic, really, really busy. And, and some people have said, oh, we can't hear Anna because she's, she's got no mic. Can you get her a mic? In fact, it's just that sometimes either myself or Anna forgets to put the mic on and that's that's why it's uh, quiet and echoey at some times. But we'll try and because yeah. now we're going to do less vlogs yeah we're going to try and pretty up, much up the quality Anna. Also people were saying um, can't hear well we'd kind of Anna in the edit had put it at like the maximum that she thought it, it should have been and um, we're now just going to put the sound to the max and people can always <laughs> turn the sound down so that's not a problem. Um, other people were asking about uh, these, uh, how we're heating the downstairs. Of course, in the bedrooms, it's aircon reversible, so no problem. Downstairs, we had to try and find all these uh, cast iron old radiators. So that's what these pipes were doing. Um, they're gonna be connected by the heating engineer. Um, but yeah, these are all old cast iron uh, radiators that we've had sandblasted cleaned out and then respray to look brand new. And I think they go, the white goes really well with the walls. Some people said, oh, try and paint them red and things, but I don't. No. 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 I don't think Anna wants to. Um, and then I think there was one last thing you wanted to show yes, everyone. Because, because we, we never got onto it. We were just too busy getting the room ready and then we had to go and we were with the kids afterwards, weren't we? So yeah. there was something that Anna loves about this. It's and a funniosity, was, isn't it? Yes, really? and that was the reason why we got this cabinet. Because yeah. it is, well, we forget about it, but it it's is a beautiful a, cabinet. Yeah, it's not, I don't think it's hugely old. I think it's repro. No. No, but it's, it's beautiful across the front. Um, it is a drinks cabinet. I think uh -huh. you're going to demonstrate it. Yeah. And this me was... demonstrating how to get a drink. <laughs> oh, and yeah, this is why yeah. we loved it so much because when you open it, the light comes on. Oh, it's quite cute. It's quite funny, uh, quirky. So. Oh, how cute it is. You loved that. I'm not that bothered I about did. that. I did. I loved it. I love the fact that it's got like glass here, and you can have like your your well your spirits here and your or your glasses here and your spirits here and I mean you just like like you make yourself a drink. You know why I wanted it? Why? Because ah, I get electric shocks off it. <laughs> the, Typical 
You were going to be cheeky there. That's why you got an electric shock. <laughs> oh my God, I think I need to check that out. I didn't get one. I, I just opened it. Shall I do it again? No, my hands Will are Will that knock some thing. sense into me? Yeah, maybe. No, I got it because of these on the front. I can't believe oh. that. What a load of rubbish that. I'm going to have to really sort that out because that, that was a big shock. Well, it, it was just like we just plugged it for that. We're not going to leave it on. No. <laughs> Sorry, bin, yeah. get it in the bin. No, no. It's no, too I cute. just love the front basically, but yeah, you the love front the inside too. Because it, but it's got like a little, it's like painted. It's yeah. been painted on top, which is really cute. Yeah. Sorry, Ed, for the electric shock. No, pool time, pool yeah. design time. I need to get changed, and we're gonna whip outside, aren't we? Yes. Ed, we said we're going outside. You're straight at it, checking it out. Inspector Ed. Yeah, I've got I've taken the, uh, this is taking the like, unplugged it. Oh, you're trying to fix it straight away. Yeah, it does not in things like that. Can't stand it. God knows why. I don't know whether it's the cable that might have lost a bit of its. Well, it's just something quirky. It's not, that's not the main thing. Yeah, it's not the main thing, getting an electric shock. No, I mean, like, we don't have to plug it. We can just keep it like this without being plugged. What did we say about, um, about microphones? I've just realised. I've just taken mine off. Have you taken yours off? No, nope, mine is still on. But you, I've, put you, uh, I've left you your little one there, so hopefully it's going to be good. Oh, you turned it on. Oh, I did. Thing. I did. I d we don't want any more problems. Yeah. No, okay, I'm going to have a look at it, but... It's just, there's only two cables, so it can only be one of the two. Let's go outside, there's beautiful weather, yeah. time is ticking. Yeah, okay. Hello, Ed. Hello, after the antiques of... Um, let's try again. I'll keep that part, Ed. <laughs> the antiques, that's how tired I am. Antiques. That's how, antiques. that is how tired I am, how far you pushed me, Anna. But look at that, you did it, Ed. Yes, I did it. Shall we sing it? Uh, Do, is Billy going to send you flowers? I think he will, and he'll give me a kiss when I see him. I'm sure he will. Um, after the antics of last week, um, we're now going to come outside for a bit. I don't know how long that's going to last because the weather is due to be absolutely awful this next week. It, it looks awful today, Ed. Yeah, that's no, it's sunshine. great today. No, I it's mean, great. The blue sky, yeah. it's so bad. So what we're going to do is, like I've already said in a couple of vlogs ago, uh, we're going to try and do bits outside when we can, uh, working on the pool. But before we get to any of that, have I introduced you to Philip? Philip? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, where's Philip? Come on, look, here's Philip. Is Philip here? I've just been moving some of the stones from here, basically they're in my way. And... Uh, Where is Philip? What on earth have you got now? Oh, here's Philip. Oh, hello, little cutie. Now, I don't think he was quite hibernating yet, but he's certainly not happy to be out during the day. Um, so we've just moved the pallet over here. Well, I've just moved the pallet over here and then I've covered him up with another pallet. Philip, <laughs> Philip, Philip, where's Stephanie gone? <laughs> he's not responding. Are you... Are you well, let's leave him to it because I feel sorry for the little guy. Oh my goodness. Let's co Aww. cover him back up with that because he was covered. That's cute. Anna, did you spill some red paint here? <laughs> <laughs> or did I let that pallet go a bit too early? <laughs> you horrible thing. No. no, not really. Right, let's get the van out the way and let's get going on marking out this pool area. Go on then. Oh, I best put my seatbelt in case somebody puts in the comments you must wear a seatbelt when driving. There we go, I'm always safety conscious, Anna. Come on then. Right, so, pool's going somewhere around here. We'll have a look at the map in a minute. First things first, we have to come off the side of this building, mm -hmm. perfectly square. Um, and I've got a really easy way of doing that. 
But let's measure out where we're coming to approximately first and then we'll go from there, okay? Okay. Get things set up first. Anna, I need help. Oh, I'll be glad to help you, Ed. Views in comment whether I need uh, help or not. <laughs> <laughs> my, I can't my, guarantee the quality of the help, but I will give it my best. No, I'm talking about other types of help that I might need. We'll see what people come up with. Oh my goodness. Samuel, Jason, they'll be just... Big Nick. Yeah, Big Nick. They'll all be at it. Everyone, Phil, everyone's going to be at oh, it. Oh yes, Phil. I won't mention any women because the women, well, the women will be nice with me, I think, won't they? Uh, Mind you, I do have an anti-Ed fan club. Uh, no, you don't. They all love you. Right, basically, we're trying to get this, this right angle. Mm -hmm. And anybody that does maths knows that a three metre by four metre by five metre triangle has a 90 degree angle. I love maths, but that I maths, wouldn't have Maths known. lesson for everyone. Bring your kids in. <laughs> Right, here you go. I need you to hold that there, Anna, so you can film whilst holding that. Okay. And we're going to come over here. Okay. Two right, sex. you got it? Two sex, yes, okay, eight. that's fine. What's Three that? metres. Come and have a look here, Anna. I'm coming. Let go of that now. I don't need it now. Okay. Three metres. Uh huh. Somebody's oh. already put a screw there. Could that have been you, Edward? It was my blue blue Peter time, that was. Oh, you cheeky thing. <laughs> Done earlier on. Right, okay, so that's three metres. Uh-huh. So we've got our three metres. I'm going to drill that in just to be not even half a centimetre out. Oops. That will come out of the stone. There's no problem after. Okay, now we need to do four metres. Four metres. So, Oh, you want me to hold this again? Yeah. Well, you're not doing the measuring. Well, I wasn't sure what I was doing. So from here, from the point. Yeah. I'm doing wrong here, Anna. It's not four meters. What is it? It's five meters on the horizontal on the oh. hypotenuse. But it's not gonna help. Just just flip the camera around, turn the camera around and show how you're holding it. So we've measured three, we've measured five, and then the this is one? it. The distance from there, we know that when when I'm at four meters from the corner of the building. I know I'm at 90 degrees. Otherwise, I could be over here, Anna. Could be over here, it could be whatever, 80 odd degrees. Could be over here, it could be 110 degrees. So we know that four meters gets us to perfectly 90 degrees and it's going to look perfect. I'm sure it is. Right, so I got the meter, Ed. Right, so you need to come to the corner of the building again. Okay, I am at the corner where this horrible oh. pipe is. So, four metres is here, and see how I'm doing it? I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Okay, uh, Yeah, okay. I think, think we're good. No, hold on, need to keep it nice and tight there. Okay, I've got it. You've got it, okay. So this is going to be the first. First stake going in. <gasps> Treasure. <What? laughs> you scared me. So that doesn't need to be in that far because we're going to now put a cord along there and, and get to how long it was. Okay, math lesson over for the day. Let's see. Does the lesson continue? You know what, it doesn't look like 90 degrees. I bet I've done it wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's your fault, Anna. <laughs> um, blame, blame you. Okay, so uh, 265. Okay, so that 1540 that I've marked on there must be from there. So we need to measure 15 meters 40 from the corner of the building and we need to pass just by this, this, yeah? This spike. The spike. To put another spike in over there. So I need you to go back down there now, Anna. Okay, so I'm against the building. Yeah, Anna. Yes? I said, I said either underneath or over that stone that you've got that's making a mess. No, we need to go above it. Above it, okay. Yeah, it's just that it was stopping it getting to the edge of the building. Still I, above it, still. I can't, do, don't pull more, because if you pull more, I can't go against the wall. Right, high up, please. Okay. There we go. Okay, 1540, we are here. Perfect. Okay, that was high. I was, I was a little bit worried then because uh, we're quite close to the trees but that went in quite deep before it got anywhere near the roots which is really good news because the last thing we want to do is uh, 
get rid of the trees cause well we not get rid of the tree but just have either the concrete buckling or or yeah endangering the tree more than getting rid of it and destroying philip's house yeah <laughs> yeah oh philip have i woken you up <laughs> no no he's fast asleep he's fast asleep okay well that's good we got to here we need to do the same process again oh no i don't like this i know what i'm going to need you to do is go to the other post there i thought i heard philip rustling what? around back there and when i measured it distracted me <laughs> i've gone to 15:40 instead of 14:50. you wanted the bigger pool yeah well there we go okay at least got the alignment okay 14:50. there that's better they're a bit further away from the trees now right anna uh where's that mark i've got on here that's the five meter i need you to measure uh to put that on there and i need to measure four meters again awesome. so we've got another right angle okay four meters i need you to go up the bar a bit okay stop okay okay we're about there this is not easy because of the grass see how that is it's just the height of the grass Do you want me to are lift? you on the outside of that can you put it sideways on the outside this side yeah and hook it on and then you can just hold on to it okay like this yes that's easier i think we're good okay I'll are do you gonna oh geez i'll do this one just be careful ed just behave More. keep going i'll do it if you want we're done okay you do it now it's too hard i'll do at least we know nowhere near any roots right i'm gonna go to the edge of our land mm -hmm. measure three meters back from the wall because we're gonna put a wall at three meters yeah Okay, so you need me to... I'm going to need another stake. I'm going to need you to keep that, make sure it's there. Okay. Are you going to hide in the bushes, Ed? I'm having a good time in the bushes. <laughs> so that's 17 metres. I want the wall to go up at 14 metres exterior. It's where the wall's going. I'm worried for Philip. Why? Well, if Philip watches Philip, <laughs> he might come and try and taxidermy him. Oh, yeah. I don't know whether I know he loves hedgehogs, so I think we need to hide Philip. <laughs> You're looking worried, Dad. Well, I mean turn around, Anna. Right, this has got to be a concrete base. Mm-hmm. Have you seen how much stone we've got to move? Yes, I can see all of that now. But the thing is, right, we've got the stone to cope the front of this wall yes. um, that we want to put up between ourselves and the neighbours. Yes. So, I think before I even think about pouring a, a base there and digging the pool, I think the first things first is to get the foundations dug out for this. So it means moving a load of the stones, mm -hmm. get the foundations um, dug, get the concrete poured for the foundations, get the block wall up, and then cope the front of the block wall with the stone. The back's just going to get a skimming because we're not going to see the back. <laughs> no, I shouldn't cut my... Head, she so. cut your head, yeah. yeah no you. wonder Philip is out. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, I think that's that's the plan now. Problem is, it's due to rain next week, but we'll uh, we'll get going on well, that. You never know. It we'll might... get going on that. Get that wall up, and then I can think about the pool area. Damn it! I wanted to get that dug and filled and and built the pool, but no, it's other things pressing. Yeah, I've got to get this done quick because I need to get the pool finished, skimmed, and ready for resin before uh, before it goes too cold because you can't yeah. resin in the cold. You're going to have to get a move on. Ed, one of my favourite trees is here. Yeah, what's it called, Anna? Tonto Crepe Myrtle. But I think this one is the purpley one, not the hot pink one like the one we have at the Chateau. I can't remember. You're right, we can't remember. I thought it was the same, but it might not be. I think it's more purpley, this well, one. Well... Do you think we... The problem is it's in the middle of the terrace at the moment, right next to where you're going to go in the pool and stuff, so... It's gonna to have to be moved. Not yet, because it's not quite the right time. No. What mm. you, I think, do we take it back to the chateau and, or do we just? Well, I think it's, 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 I don't think it's been planted. I think it's grown on its own and it's grown here. I, th I don't think we should move it from here. Okay, then we'll leave it here. We just replant it somewhere. We've, we've still got all those olive trees to plant too. Oh yes. Wouldn't it be nice to have them around the chateau? Around the chateau, around the pool, sorry. I just want everything for the. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I like the idea of olive trees around the pool, yeah. I mean, it would be nice. And the good thing is they don't produce huge leaves, do they? I mean, no. Look at these 
big ones here. They've not been cut properly for, for a couple of years, but when they're cut properly, they shouldn't produce they're a lot messy. of leaves to go in the pool. Uh, but yeah, we could uh, we could plant those around the edge. Of, you mean around the edge of the terrace? Yes. Wouldn't it be nice? Yeah, let's go and have a look, see how many we've got. So what do you think? How many do we have? Well, you see, look here, you've got one massive one there. I've got an idea for that, but one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, we can always buy some eight. more. That's a good number, four on each side. Well, let's see how they look. They might, yeah, I suppose eight, four on each side, yeah. Otherwise we get nine, so three The big one, you know what I, want? I fancy doing with the big one? Go on. Having like a, in the actual terrace, mm -hmm. where we've got a massive of kind of um, those tiles, yeah? Mm -hmm. Do a little square that isn't actually concreted. Put and him in and put some decking around it so he's got room to grow. Him? It could be her. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> it's a big one. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Anna, I've got some bad news though. Go on. A couple of these trees around the back have had it. Oh no. It's okay, I mean, we've... Not been here in time to water them, have we, really? No, it's a shame. Okay. All right, so that's a the plan, then. We're going to plant some of these olive trees around the edge of the pool area. Yes. We're going to have a glass barrier between the pool and the garden. That sounds really good, because that's going to look really nice. Yeah. I'm trying to find ones that kind of aren't too... I know they're not flimsy, but, you know, like, prone to being broken. All right, well... That all sounds right. We're done. Okay then. Well, I was going to go and get all the filter kit, but... So, I think, should we do maybe a bit more of the work? Yeah. I was ready to go and buy my filter so that next week we could get the concrete done. Because the first thing you need down the bottom is the sump. Okay. We'll have to figure out what we're going to do first then. Sounds good. Anna, just come here as well. What's going on then? <laughs> Well, we had two massive palm trees when we first got here. Yes. Unfortunately, the papillon, uh, whatever it was, so like a, uh, it's not a butterfly, is it? It's a kind of moth or something that eats, burrows into the top and eats all the palm tree. Um, come and got them both, one after the other. The one at the front is gone and it, it, was, it was rotten all the way down. This one, the leaves had gone brown and we knew it was the same thing, but I decided to cut it off right at the bottom mm -hmm. and it looked a lot better you know it started weeping out um and and then this little this little thing shot up out the, out the side of it i'm thinking again they look pretty cool near a pool don't they you want palm trees i want that one and the olive tree maybe in two different beds hmm. i don't know they go massive anna i know they do it's good fun and it's here Yes. I can't just cut it now. It's, it's no, like no, no, a, no, it's a phoenix come back. from the ashes. No, now it's come back. It has to stay here. So you're going to... Or a phoenix from the flames. Sorry. Yeah, well, phoenix next to the... Next well, to the bins. Yeah, next to, well, that, next to the... Uh, well, you have your scrap there, Ed. Oh, yeah. Have hey, you? get your eyes off my scrap metal. <laughs> you know what? The worst thing about that is somebody half-inched my... Pinched my... Um, my rear... Somebody half inched my uh, really good old um, motor and it was really heavy. Uh. Even if I was taking it to the scrap yard, you'd get a right load for the uh, copper. Somebody stole it. It's a shame. I think these are the blocks we'll be using, these, these ones here mm -hmm. for, uh, for the wall over there. Because it's just to give us a base and then we're going to cope stone in front of it. So. Yeah. So right, I'm enough talking. Let's get on. Let's go because we have the. We're going to pick up the kids soon. Yeah, no.